Hello YouTubers, welcome back to a new video. This is GQ Auto Diagnostics and Repair. Uh, first of all, we want to thank you for uh, subscribing to the channel to be part of our community, the comments. Uh, I've been getting a lot of comments finally and I really appreciate it. Uh, I do uh, try to do my best to, to reply to all your comments. So, thank you. Thank you. That means a lot to us that you guys are actually enjoying the videos and, and uh, find it, finding them helpful. Anyhow, so before I forget, please subscribe to the channel if you are new to the channel. Welcome. So please uh, subscribe, like, comment, share the video. If you're already a subscriber, again, welcome back and thank you so much. <clears throat> On this uh, 2015 Corolla 1.8 automatic is an LE model. <clears throat> We're going to replace the air filter and the cabin air filter inside the vehicle. So this is pretty straightforward. So, but still, you know, some people might don't know how to do it, and uh, you know, we're here to to help others save some money and to uh, get the repairs done all right so let me get a good angle of the camera so here we're gonna have two tabs right there's one and the other one is over there right here so we're gonna push with the thumb away this to the front of the car and this now is like we're gonna pull this part up and we're gonna push it towards the towards the back of the car, towards the master cylinder. Okay, so that way you guys can get the whole picture. So I'm pulling up and I'm pulling back. Done. Okay. <clears throat> Here, some people might want to uh, remove the hose, the breather hose. You can if you want to. But in some occasions, oh, look at all that dust. Oh, woohoo. Uh, <clears throat> the breather hose can be very brittle, very hard because of the heat and the age of the vehicle. And this can break, you know, right here when you disconnect it. And sometimes time to get a, a suck air from the outside and create a lean condition. So that's why I usually, this one seems to be okay. But I'm not going to do it, I'm not going to disconnect it, don't no, feel like making extra work for me. Now this is very important. You can see here, this is round, this is a square, 90 degree. So this, it came like this, okay? Sometimes people don't pay attention to that and they put it backwards here and having a hard time trying to seal the top, okay? So you just pay attention when you do something. Here is our new filter, as you can see. All right, so this, again, goes in this corner. So it's gonna go like this. it there now we're gonna do the opposite we're gonna slide it here so this tabs can lash there it is press down locks in place don't forget this other side and we are done okay we didn't remove the hose we didn't disconnect the master flow sensor so that would potentially can create a code so any of that. So we're gonna put this back in the box. That way the customer can actually look at it. And they can see the video and like the video. <clears throat> Next, let's go inside the vehicle. So here, 
for the cabin filter we need to access or move remove the this glow box two things gonna happen this is very very straightforward let me find a spot for the for the camera so you guys can see it hopefully this is a good angle hopefully the magnet is a good magnet too other way my camera is going to break right there so here it's a tap so we're just going to pull away that way great now we're going to push in these two areas then we're going to pull away done okay <clears throat> easy so now your cabin filter is behind this door number one okay so here you can see you have an arrow set up this part goes up because that's the only way it's gonna fit to be able to latch it so here is a tap that goes over there get in boom done <clears throat> so remove it now this <clears throat> we're gonna pull this filter out and like oh anyhow wow okay let's see well at least they put it right the arrows down so you want the arrow pointing down because the air is going to come from the outside of the vehicle inside is going to filter and going into your evaporator or your heater depend what time of the year you or what season so that's what you're going to be using here to here it's an area where the air doesn't go, it's flat. So from there you saw the, the curves. So on this model Toyota, the filter instead of going like this, is gonna go like this. And you will be able to see why it was kinda tricking me. This bar is like almost an inch that is empty there. Usually we want the whole area to be covered but again, because the way the bottom is built and the back, the filter actually cover perfectly the area where the air goes through. Anyhow, again, I'm like you guys sometimes. I don't have all the answers, but I'm too curious to not go look for them. All right, so this one, whoever replaced it before, put it wrong, obviously, because again, most of the time, filters go here, this way. Now, next, you're gonna put this back over there. Make sure you lash this part. It goes in and latches. Done. Okay, next we gotta put everything back. And this probably I can do it with one hand. Hope so. There. There's the dump in her arm, how they call it. Never mind. I didn't do it right. That's what happened when I'm trying to do things one hand. So make sure that is lined up correctly. So make sure those two things, they are going to clip right here, right here, this, so 
let's do that. So, there you go. Clip. Let it hold by itself. I want to put this back. There it is. All right, great. <clears throat> wow, that took a lot, a little bit longer than I was expecting. Again, if you stay this far on the video, I appreciate it. Thank you very much. And if you learn anything from this video, please give it a uh, hit that subscribe button smash the like button <clears throat> share the video comment on the video and uh, i will see you guys on the next video have a great day